Before you start with this task, please remember to log in to your own account. Task 4 asks you to extend a technology acceptance model, i.e. the TAM model, by integrating relevant hypothetical relationships through constructs that are synonymous with perceived usefulness, perceived ease of use, and behavior intention to use. The models that can be added to extend the following TAM model must have the construct behavioral intention to use. Meanwhile, they must also include at least one of the two constructs, perceived usefulness and perceived ease of use. For instance, suppose that you find another model hypothesizing that general intelligence leads to higher levels of usefulness and that higher usefulness leads to higher behavioral intention. If you find that usefulness is synonymous with perceived usefulness in TAM, you can integrate this model with the TAM model by merging perceived usefulness and usefulness, thereby adding one more construct, general intelligence, to the existing model. In order to complete task 4, we highly suggest that you start with three separate searches on perceived usefulness, perceived ease of use, and behavioral intention to use. In each search, please make sure that the articles which you decide to put into the left pane contain the construct behavioral intention to use. Meanwhile, they should also contain at least one of the two constructs, perceived usefulness and perceived ease of use. Although you may end up with repetitive articles in these three searches, we highly recommend you do so in order to reduce false negatives. I have already found at least one article for each of the three constructs. You are definitely encouraged to find and save more construct instances. As you are working on this, I have two tips for you. First, for task 4, since you want to put together the models, you probably won't need the articles with no model that has been extracted by the system. Therefore, when you search for a particular construct, Switching from OR to theoretical model extracted can help you save a lot of work. You can then pick whatever you think is relevant and add it to the left pane. Another thing worth mentioning is that some articles may contain more than one of our target constructs. For example, I found one article that contains both perceived usefulness and perceived ease of use. However, this won't be an issue because the system can complete the deduplication on its own and eventually show only one model for these two instances. After deciding all the relevant construct names and storing them into the panel on the left, you can select articles you want to be included in the final model. Or if you want to select all of them, you can check the box called Select All Articles in order to do so, and then click Start Building Ontology. On the right, you now can visually see the relationships between different constructs. Using the icons on the upper right corner can help you zoom in or zoom out. Moving down a little bit, these icons can help you direct yourself. If you feel the canvas is too small, you can click the zooming icon here in order to get a full screen view. And when you want to return to the normal view, you can click this icon again. You can also drag the construct to any place you want. By stopping your cursor upon one construct, you will be able to see the author and the year. The next step is to combine these models into one. You can see some of the constructs in the models are the same, and these will become the bridges that connect the models together. Let's first try to connect these two models together by leveraging three sets of synonymous constructs. Behavioral intention and intended use, performance expectancy and perceived usefulness, effort expectancy and perceived ease of use. First, click behavioral intention and move down to click add cluster. Then, also choose intended use, which has similar meaning as behavioral intention. Now, save cluster. Now the two constructs are joined together. Using the same method, you can also join the rest of the two sets. In short, you'll need to find the overlapped constructs and use them as the bridges to combine the models. 
Eventually, you'll have a diagram looking like this. When you are done, you can save the graphic as an image by clicking Save As Link and download it to a computer. If you want to change the individual models being included here in this view, you can always check or uncheck the articles on the left and click Update Selected Articles. Just remember to save the image if you want to keep previous results. For your submission to the survey, it is composed of two parts. The first part should be a network graph showing your extended TAN model. The second part should contain the source IDs of all the articles that contribute to this extended network graph. Particularly, you can upload your graph by clicking into in this, this link and choosing the file from there. If you find that the saved picture has low resolution, please disregard it for now and still submit it to the survey. All your construct integration efforts will be saved to the backend database when you click the Save As link. For the source IDs, you can either keep track of them while you are searching for these articles, or right-click each of the constructs in the left pane and add the source ID and construct name into the clipboard. And this is the end of the last video. Thank you for watching. When you are done with the task, please remember to fill out the survey through the link provided in the task document.